Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name's David and this is a book review. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is where I talk about all things Star Wars. Uh, I don't really have a lane. I didn't, I didn't pick a lane <laughs> with this channel. It's really just about anything that comes my way. My Star Wars fandom is so broad. So really, the channel is broad. So yeah, we're doing a book review. Done some vintage book reviews. This one, uh, this book isn't a vintage book. Uh, this one came out uh, 2017. But I've done vintage toy reviews. I've done uh, toy like builds. Uh, we've talked about my collection. We've talked about the movies, the TV shows. We've talked about Disneyland. Hey, if you, if you slap Star Wars on it, I'm going to talk about it. So we're taking a little break from the vintage books, right? And we're going to do a book review for a book that just came out a couple of years ago. This one's from 2017. This is, from a certain point of view, 40 stories celebrating 40 years of Star Wars. And of course, this is Star Wars A New Hope. The release date for Star Wars A New Hope was May 25th, 1977. So it's been 40 years since A New Hope came out. And then this book is a celebration of that 40th anniversary. They chose 40 different authors. One of them is even uh, Ashley Eckstein, who was Ahsoka in the TV show. And the whole premise of the book is their behind the scenes stories. So the whole film, the whole story of A New Hope is taking place, but these 40 stories uh, are happening simultaneously or just off to the left or maybe right outside the door or maybe uh, during the show but you know on a, on another planet on a distant planet somewhere else uh, and they all revolve around the timeline that a new hope is happening and really the stories and the voices because it's 40 different authors they they have such a wide range of topics so they could be about good guys they could be about bad guys they could be about uh, just minor characters. They could be about robots or stormtroopers, pretty much anything. There was nothing left unturned. And really how the book goes, it's going to follow the story of A New Hope. So the very first story is going to be about being aboard the Tantu IV, right? It's going to be about, about the rebel blockade runner and what happens there. And then as you follow characters through the story, the story will shift. It'll move to Tatooine and then it'll move to Mos Eisley and then it'll move to the, you know, the Death Star, it'll go out to Alderaan, Dantooine, uh, things like that. You know, it'll come back to Yavin. Like, it'll follow the story base. It's kind of like if you saw a uh, Lion King one and a half. <laughs> if you saw Lion King one and a half, uh, it was kind of like an aside that was happening during Lion King. So it's kind of like that, but it's uh, the Star Wars version. All right, so what kind of stories are there? Well, there's stories from the view of a stormtrooper. There's stories from the view of a Tuscan Raider. Uh, you might follow a story that takes place on the other side of the intercom, or maybe when a character leaves a scene, the story will then follow that character and see where they go. Qui-Gon Jinn even makes an appearance in one story. Will Wheaton writes a story that will bring a tear to your eye. There's a Jeffrey Brown cartoon. Uh, there's a story about why R5-D4 blew his motivator. There's a story about what goes on inside the mind of a mouse droid. Uh, there's a lot of Cantina stories. There's a really long story about the Cantina band. Uh, the book, all in all, is 458 pages. Uh, paperback, mine's a paperback. And then there's a bunch of authors. So all the authors, the 40 authors, their bios are in the back. Uh, this book, you can still get it right now at Amazon for about $16. And I know what you're thinking. Is there a book for Empire Strikes Back? Yes, there is. Empire Strikes Back came out May 21st, 1980. So its 40th anniversary was last November 2020. So I have the hardback as well. And uh, once I finish this one, of course, I'll start the hardback and then we'll do a review for that one. And if you're waiting for Return of the Jedi, uh, if you're waiting for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, Return of the Jedi's anniversary is May 25th, 1983. So you won't see this book published until 2023. So if you can wait that long, uh, I, I guess it'll be out 2023. All right, Star Wars, a certain point of view. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's a very fun read. Uh, the authors really do play around with the story. Some stories are serious. Some stories will make you go, oh, so that's why that happened. Some stories will just make you laugh and you just kind of throw it away and say, that was a fun read and it was silly. Uh, so it really is kind of all over the place. When you start a brand new story, 
you have a brand new author, so you really don't know what you're going to get. But I didn't not like any of the stories. They were all great. They were all fun. And it was a wonderful read to keep by my bedside, you know, right before I go to sleep. Just pop it open and read a short Star Wars story. Highly recommended Star Wars from a certain point of view. Thanks for watching, guys. May the Force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.